Hey guys, we are in our southern home now, trying to get moved in. This is a totally new house for us to be in, so there's lots of furniture to build and decorating. We've painted, and I say we, I, I've painted, and now I'm getting ready to build some benches. So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I've already done one. That's Fortnite, my kids playing Fortnite on the projector. No, 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 watch my edits. Oh, those edits. Oh, he's cranking 90s. Not really. <laughs> Goated. Okay. So this is what we're going to build. So this is, I just used an Ikea. Let me move my table out of the way a little bit. Mess it up. Okay. So this is Ikea, uh, Calyx, Cubby. And then I'm just going to make this, this top. I just made this one yesterday. It was my first try. And so I am not handy with, or like, I've never sewn. There's no sewing in this, but I think it looks great. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing that. Okay, so first thing is um, you need some MDF, and some MDF foam, some quilt batting, quilting batting. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I just watched other YouTube videos. So, you know, after you watch this, you can watch another one. Oh my God, my dog just pooped. I can smell it. I got to go deal with that. And some fabric that you pick. So hold on. I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go deal with little puppy and then I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Um, poop has been cleaned and I will show you. So this is Lenika's little area. This is much smaller than our other house and you see I have not redone this kitchen yet. So this is the kitchen in the house I just bought. So it definitely needs to be redone, but it's a little, little tiny kitchen, but I have redone the floor. So you can see um, these floors were all different. There was carpet, there was tile, there was everything. So we've got it all it, it looks nice now we love it so um here are the cubbies actually that i'm going to be i'm going to make this little kitchen can i zoom out no i can't oh there we go i'm going to make this little kitchen nook it's a really tiny space there's the table i'm going to pull it over closer so i'm just going to make the cushions for this little kitchen nook okay so here's what i'm using so the foam that i was talking about and then you need some mdf board i've got some mdf board right here i had um i had Home Depot cut it to the exact top plate of the, you know, of the storage. Sorry, I couldn't think of the words. Then I've got my fabric. And then this is quilting batting. So this, I didn't know, I learned this on other YouTube videos. It just, what it does is it goes underneath the fabric and over the foam and it just smooths out the appearance. And I'm really, really glad I used it and I didn't skip that step. So definitely get yourself some quilting. I think I'm saying it right, I'll have to check. Quilting batting, I don't know. But um, it's like the padding, I think, for quilts. So I'm gonna go ahead and right now, I need to cut these foam pieces to the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. All right, so first I'm gonna score it. And now I'm just gonna start cutting it. I'm gonna saw at it a little. My next step is to cut the quilting batten. So I'm just gonna measure this and cut it so it can wrap around the sides. And then I'll be right back. Have this all wrapped up now stapled on the back and now I'm just going to do the same exact thing with the fabric all right so some weirdness on the corners there but I don't really care um this is great this is totally gonna work so I'll put the table and we'll see what it looks like okay here's the finished product and now we've I have, this is a little teeny space and we've made it a little more efficient. I'm going to put some mirrors and plants and all sorts of other good stuff up there. But for now, this is a great beginning. If I can get back this teeny house. And then let's check our other one. And my favorite one, I love that one for this table. And then there's my kid playing Fortnite. 
All right, so this was a super simple and not too expensive. I will say the foam is really expensive, but I got it 50% off at Joanne Fabrics, so there are sales. Um, but otherwise, this really, to do all three benches, the benches were 50 bucks each, and then the board was about four, to have it cut, and the staple gun was about $40, and then all the fabric and foam was t about $180. So it's at 220 plus 150. So 370 for three benches is actually a really great deal. So it's not free, it's not super cheap. There is some expense, but I've saved myself hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. Because usually these kitchen nooks are super expensive. And I don't know why, because they're just benches, but they are. Um, so hopefully, you know, if anyone wants to try this at their house, I've helped you. All right, so before we say goodbye, we're just gonna check out the pot. Little Nika sleeping in her in her little bed. She's upset that she can't come out with us and that we're not hanging out in there. But 